Days on end, now you can't come see me tonight Say you ain't got the time, I'm the last one you prioritize Peeping, your IG pictures on my phone I won't spend another night at home, okay I'ma just be on my way Shorty too naughty, pool party wet for the face ride. Any up, penny down, hand me down, thrift store, old drip. New money, too funny, old shorty talk about old. I'm on eight now, can't get a pass now. I'm a cash cow, keeping it brash now. It's trash now, I'm a spaz out. I've been killing my lows and living on highs. You see in the skies the proof. You can just see in my eyes that there is no lies. I cannot disguise the truth. I've been duck dog getting sh- to my new merch, color duck sauce on the new couch with my chuck song. Get the on with that hate. I'm big cool on the small chat Cause I know now that I'm all that Got a hot guy on the ball cat Get the f- out of my face uh. Talking to my mirror like I love you so much Curving all my critics like I heard you so what You can't kill my confidence I think I'm the Hey what's up This is your girl Nicole Reloaded And we're locked and loaded with another video Good morning now, what I came on to discuss this morning was William McRae, and he reacts to Larry Reed 
and Vincent Terrell Hill. Okay, the disruptive truth. So let's get into this reaction. Let's see what William McCray has to say. Make sure that you like, share, and subscribe. Now, William McCray is a church minister and a and famous blogger within the African-American Christian culture and the Christian community. And he has some things that he had to say. He seemed a little perplexed and a little taken, well, taken back. Um, these are some serious allegations. Larry Reed has been exposed by his ex-lover, ex-boyfriend, ex-confidant, and he has came out to spill the beans. So let's get into some more spilling of some beans, child. This might be the whole pork and pig. Hmm. But let's get into it. Now, my screen is not sharing. You know how this darn whatchamacallit can act. Come on, StreamYards. Let me, I must have to present it again. All right, yeah, I got to present it again. So let's go ahead and share this screen. Let's see what William McRae is talking about. Let's make sure the sound is on. Okay, there you go. I'm on, I'm through StreamYard. Off by now. I thought I would have been wrapping up and uh, off by now. All right, I am live. Everyone to, uh, like, share. Oh, excuse me. Like and share, like and share, like and share. Let everyone know that I am on. Let everyone know that I am on. I was trying to, um, I was trying to post the video um of vincent terrell hill um i had uh okay so it did post all right so we're going to go through this it's been a lot today it has been a lot my phone has just completely been um blowing up in regard to this explosive uh information coming from uh, vincent terrell hill about um um uh about larry so uh plus um, things in Fulton County are just heating up. Uh, I was in the court uh, courtroom. YSL's trial is going. Uh, then we had the the, the uh, hearing for as to whether or not um, as to whether or not. Uh, okay, there is a troll. Let me get this person real quick. There is a troll. Amen. Glory to God. The um. Let's see that she's using my name, um, calling me, um, what is this? Calling me Wilhelmina. Yes, calling me. Okay. All right. And you're banned. All right. So glad that you, glad that you came on and that you was brave enough to cut up quickly so that you could be eliminated quickly. All right. So I need everyone to, um, uh, get on. Greetings, Andrew Sanders. Greetings, Sir William. The congregation is gathered. Bless us, good sir. <laughs> All right. So, everyone, I need you to get on. I need you to get on um, and like, share the live. My Cash App is there. My Zelle is there. I need for you to uh, send your love offerings, donations, stars, and um, and the like. Okay. So it has been. Hey, Mother Harcel. Greetings to you. Um, uh, thank you for reposting. So. Um, I, I, I probably will come back and, uh, uh, do this, uh, better. And again, I, I believe that it'll be something that will be ongoing that we'll be talking about for, uh, for a little while. Okay. Um, I'm, a, I'm just going to be honest with you. I am mentally, I am literally mentally and emotionally trained and, um, uh, uh, it says, don't get rid of the haters. They serve. <laughs> um, I, let me say this about haters. Let me say this. I am not. I am not going to tolerate any level of disrespect ever. Now, I, I'm just not going to tolerate that. Now, what a person says about me on their page or on someone else's platform, I cannot control that. However, I am not going to be subject to someone coming into my space 
and disrespecting and talking about me. I'm just not, I'm, I'm not, I, I get that y'all say that they may serve a purpose and trolls and all of that. And uh, they, they may very well contribute to numbers and, and things of that sort, but I am not going to tolerate and, and create a spirit and atmosphere that you can come over here and, um, um, and just say uh, whatever it is that you want, how you want. And I, you know, feel like I have to tolerate it. All right. Um, it was a lot today. I like, like I said, it was, it, it, it's been a lot. It's been mentally and emotionally draining. So going from YSL, um, uh, hearing, uh, uh, evidence and tweets and videos of, um, uh, gang like, or, you know, these congregates, um, and this wild behavior then went upstairs to the Fannie Willis um, uh, hearing to determine whether or not she will be removed um, from the, tr the Trump trial. It, and then and then all of the calls, all of the calls and watching um, and attempting to decipher uh, what Vincent Terrell Hill had to say on his live uh, about Larry. Uh, I I am coming on a, a, a bit later than what um, than what I planned. Uh, I like to be transparent. I like to be honest. Um, and I called. I called Larry. I um, I called Larry. Um, and you know I make those difficult calls um, in this seat that I sit. I make those difficult calls. Sometimes they're a challenge. Sometimes they're uncomfortable. Um, and so. Uh, Larry and I, to, until today, I think that this was the first time that we had a conversation in three years. Um, and so I, I talked to him in effort to uh, uh, get his side um, and to um, help contribute to my deciphering my thoughts about Vincent Terrell Hill um, and the expose that that he did. Um, I think, or what we discussed, um, probably, I've probably known Larry longer um, than most people or before his you know platform got to, um, or his level uh, reached where it is. Um, I have not, um, I have not totally formulated uh, an opinion um, completely um, in regard to this uh, because I think that some of, I, I, I think that some of this we knew. We may not have had the the confirmation of knowing, but I've always said that if anyone was to ever infiltrate or if anyone was ever able to breach um the level of uh, uh of his you know his uh, constituents or his family or his workers or yeah you, you know however we define that i think it, uh, what i was always aware i think it was like about six to seven maybe a little bit um more than more than that um if if anyone was to breach that um I, I felt like it would be difficult or, you know, a challenge for him. Um, and um, Vincent has, Vincent has uh, decided for whatever reasons um, and whatever his reasons are, he has decided to expose um, intimate and personal uh, information and come uh, or present information and present information um, that he, I, I, I'm not totally sure how he obtained it. Um, not totally sure if he, if he uh, got it completely legally or if um, these were uh, things that, you know, that he's um, uh, hacked into systems. Now, I am going to say this. And I, I really, um, I really hope that y'all, you know, I'm tell y'all, I'm just gonna be honest with you. Um, covering that trial is expensive. So if any of you 
that would be kind enough to cash app and share um, a don donations, it would be great. I love when you all buy stars. However, those stars and the, the dollars generated from that only comes in once a month. I'm going down, I mean, downtown was packed today. Um, and so, you know, and y'all know the, 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 the story that goes along with that. Um, let me say this. I, I've been blogging before longer than the people even knew what to call a blog. I was the first one to, and some people say that it doesn't matter. Okay. Uh, that, that, you know, I'll give you that. It may not matter. But I was the first one to begin to blog um, and discuss some of the ills of the Black church. Now, in doing so, and in the number of years that I have done this, I do not like stories and information that comes out of personal vendetta. I don't like information that comes because you were once the boyfriend or you was once the girlfriend or you was the once the, the person hooking up. Um, and now you have been ejected and you no longer have that relationship. And so you want to um, expose, um, uh, you want to uh, take uh, uh, someone down. So I was looking at the, I looked at the video, I looked at the video probably about a, a total of about three times to really decipher it, um, really come to terms with what, uh, what um, Vincent was exposing. The problem that I have now in all fairness, um, and I'm just going to be fair, that there, we definitely know that there are some elements of truth to this. Um, Vincent, you know, he came, as you all say, with receipts. Um, he came with with his information. Um, it was very premeditated. Uh, uh, Tiffany, Tiffany, girl, let me tell you, it's been one of those days. I am still up. I'm still fully dressed. Um, I, I didn't get in, I, I thought that I would have been live and finished by now, but I didn't get in touch with, um, um, with Larry until just about an hour or so ago when we was on the phone for about an hour. Uh, so I will, I'm, as I, uh, as I kind of move through this, I have never, I have never liked stories or information brought to me out of a vendetta and people that have ulterior motives. Now, the information that they may bring, it may very well be true. It may, it may very well be true. Uh, but your motive and your intent and um, the spirit behind your attempting to uh, uh, take somebody down, um, the, the maliciousness in that is problematic for me. Um, yes, Vincent came with receipts. Yes, Vincent has exposed. Uh... Okay, uh, Tanya Boxy Bradley says, William, you're a good man because it wasn't, because wasn't it he of the three men that attacked me a while back? Okay, I wanna, let's, let's, let's go into that. Let, let's, let's, let's hash it out. Let's deal with it. So, and Larry and I, we discussed it tonight. Um, I was given some information that, uh, basically implied or that alleged that Larry had a, per, perhaps a, 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 a possible false, um, contract with Keon Henderson out of Houston, Texas. Um, and when I got the information and found out that, you know, $10,000 and things of that sort was exchanged, I went public with that. Um, and you know, Larry was on the, was on my live. He got upset. One of the things that we, that we both agreed on this evening is we never communicated. Um, you're right, Tanya, that whole scenario, that whole situation, um, back, uh, what was that? 2018, um, probably would have played out differently had we had some level of communication. Now I'm not going, there's still some. You know, there's still some ill feelings. He said things, I said things. Um, people that follow him and that support him um, said and contributed to some to some things. Um, and we both, yeah, we, we both went at each other. 
Um, I don't think what, 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 what I do know for sure, what I do know for sure is that Vincent has a streak in him. Um, not to say that the stuff that he didn't expose is, is true, um, but he has a um, sort of a, you know, um, for lack of a better term, evil streak in him and that he is going to get you. Now, what this all stems from, what this all stems from, so that you all will know, is the final payment, the final amount of money that Vincent was owed or uh, entitled to for his work and for the things that he did with Larry has come to a close. They have finally ended. Now, is that, does that give him reason to now that the contractual agreement commitment has ended, does that give him reason to, um, or, you know, freeze him up to talk and say all of the stuff that he's known all of, all along and that he never did say. So I'm walking through it. I'm I'm going to I'm going to walk through it um, the same way that I gave uh, Lamar Whitehead somewhat of the benefit of the doubt. I am going to somewhat give Vincent as well as Larry the benefit of the doubt. Now I haven't talked to Vincent. Um, and that will probably be a far more difficult if we do have a conversation. That's going to probably be far more challenging to have that conversation with him than it was with Larry. Um, I did things that I did know um, and uh, found out to be true was confirmed. He he did attempt to shut the site down. He did attempt to lock me out of um, out of uh, some of my uh, social media uh, things. And he does. Uh, um, have a uh, uh, well I, I thank you somebody says no one cares what I have to say well why are you here why are why are why are you on the live if no one cares what I have to say so here uh, here it is we you know got a, we got a troll um, but um, I, I I think you have to be in, in some regard you have to be uh, diplomatic or attempt to be um uh, diplomatic when when you're dealing with stuff like this, uh, and when you are dealing with you know aspects um, aspects like this. That okay, let's let's see here. I'm trying to okay, Van. All right, there you go. Um, no, I, I I'm you know what I I love to read. I am just I'm not there tonight. I am I I am not in a read mode right now tonight. Um, to I, I, I take uh, I take this kind of stuff very seriously. Um, I've been on the receiving end of it, and and so I know what a diabolical attack is. I know what a diabolical um, um, idea that you know this was very premeditated. He had his notes and his information typed up, and he like he says, "Oh, I'm sorry now," and you allowed these things to go on. You you you're talking about a series of 13 years, sir, 13 years that you benefited um, and you were a partaker in whatever this situation was that 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 Larry had created, where you all lived together and um, were comfortable. Uh, Vincent has been with Larry, I know, since they started coming on my radio show back in the early days, back you know, 10, maybe 15 years ago before Larry even um, shut the church down and moved to Atlanta. So I'm aware of that. I, 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 and I'm not going to just jump on the bandwagon, but I'm going to look at this and examine this. And I think we all see the thing that the, 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 the thing that I have the problem with you all that, that, that follow us and that like us and enjoy our work. I'm, I'm appreciative to you. I really am, but how are how are you so quick to jump on the bandwagon when before? Oh, you liked him. You liked his content. You liked the things that that he was that he was saying. See, everybody is cool with it until it comes to your address. See, everybody's cool with people getting exposed and 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 your naked picture. And you know, we find out that you you've been portraying yourself to be. 
and uh, straight and you gay and you in ministry and you're doing this and your private life is a direct contradiction to, you know, everybody's cool with that part. Everybody's cool with that part until it comes to your address. And then when it comes to your address, then, oh, you want somebody to think about you differently. Oh, you want somebody to have compassion. Oh, you offended because somebody shared the story. Okay. I, everything was said. I was said that I was homeless. It was said that I had AIDS. It was said that I pulled over to the side of the road and 26 or 27 men uh, uh, gang raped me. Some of the things were said to the point where my uh, dad had an ETA, had a mild stroke. So I know what it feels like to be the recipient of, of, of this kind of diabolical attack. And I know what it feels like for somebody that you trusted and that you had in your inner circle to betray you. This is a form of betrayal. Okay, so what if it's true? Okay, so Larry's gay or bisexual or, 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 or whatever that it, 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 it may be. Okay, those things are true. But the motive, the intent, the spirit behind. He didn't have no problem going to Aruba and to these places and 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 making the the money. Okay, so Josh says that. Uh, well, I'm gonna tell you. I'm gonna just go on and say it. Y'all ain't gonna like it, but I'm just gonna go on and say it. Seventy five percent of black men in the black Pentecostal church has had some type of homosexual encounter or situation. That's just fact. I don't know why it 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 it, it it's so prevalent in in uh the 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 black uh especially the black Pentecostal experience. I don't know why it's so prevalent, but it is. It is. And and so we need to stop acting like uh Bishop so and so may not have got down at one time. Or may not have had somebody go down on him at one time. Stop playing. Stop acting. Just call an ace a ace and a spade a spade. So, you know, we knew things. We could decipher things. But, you know, it's almost, this is almost like R. Kelly. It's almost like R. Kelly. It's almost like, okay, so the money cuts off. Now, all of a sudden, I have a come to Jesus moment. Now, all of a sudden, now that I've had this, now that I have been cut off, um, you know, now I, 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 I can freely give out all of this information. Y'all like the information. Now you're getting another side. Also, you got to consider your source. You got to consider your source. So I, I want to be fair um, I want to have uh, journalistic. I, I'm not defending Larry. I'm not defending Larry. That's not the point of my life. I am giving him. I think that's Ben. Ben, I am just merely giving him the benefit of the doubt. That's all. That's all. And I'm going to talk to and I'm going to approach it from both sides. I'm not just going to take what, what he says and, and, and that for gospel, I, I want to, I want to talk to Vincent as well. Why are you now just now saying something? You have been somewhat, you know, separated from Larry or not um, in, 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 you know, uh, heavy connection. And I started seeing a turn in their relationship. I started seeing a turn from the outside looking in. I'm going to tell y'all when I saw the turn, when, when they contracted, with T.S. Madison and they were going out and they were doing the production for T.S. Madison, you know, making it look like uh, the news and what have you. Something, something transpired. Uh, I don't think I'm, I'm not defending him, Tanya. Toya, I'm not defending him. Am I, am I, I, I am being diplomatic i am be, i'm operating with some level of journalistic integrity and i'm saying that we need to examine both sides we need to examine both sides okay yeah all of this horrible stuff may be true but what is the spirit behind it coming out now 
Is it coming out now because you're cut off financially and you're mad? Is it coming off now because Larry got somebody that he likes better than you, that can screw better than you, that got a better body than you? I mean, what is what is the motivation? You was once the you was once the go-to, and now you're not anymore. So what is the what is that? That's all I'm saying. What is the motivation? Let's talk about it. Let's hash it out. What's this is Larry's side. This is his side. Okay, so we assumed we felt like there were some things when 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 pressure was, was, was or, or got hot. Eventually, Larry admitted and opened up about you know some of his sexual experiences and what and what have you, and and you know. I have not, and y'all know they send me everything. I have not seen pure evidence of him being a child molester. I have not gotten that yet. I have gotten information from guys and guys that was at his church. Um, maybe they were vulnerable. Maybe they were you know, easily manipulated or what have you, but they was grown men making grown men decisions and having sex. Raping, molesting. Um, I don't, I don't totally see that. Not saying that we won't dig and it actually happened, but it, it ain't. Ha then the other part about it is none of the guys that I have talked to and this has a pro I have a problem with this because this this deals with integrity. None of the guys that I've talked to have wanted to talk without some type of monetary compensation to tell their story. OK, right there that, that you don't you have limited to no integrity. You want to be paid for an interview. You want to be paid to to discuss how someone potentially violated you. OK, so why you want to be paid? Why you don't want to sincerely expose this and put a stop to it so anyway there we are um i, I hope that y'all like and share i'm going you know this is this this is the first night this is the first time that i've gotten a chance to really review and examine the information um it's a lot of guys that are named um uh you know uh, the guy in kentucky i think he's a former police officer um and uh, you know, that's going to raise, he's in, he's a part of the four square church. It's going to raise a lot of, um, it's going to raise a lot of, you know, raise a lot of heads, um, cause a lot of people to, um, you know, perhaps question or, you know, have some, um, some level of, uh, okay. I'm trying to I'm trying to see this person so I can go in and get them off of here. I have uh, I have somebody that just entered the room that is using my likeness um, and, and my image. Um, okay, so they're banned. Uh, all right. So, um, and I, you know, y'all, why am I so important? Let me just let me just ask this for a second. Why why am I so important that the hate and the troll do 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 they troll other people to the to the point or to um, or to the point or to the extent that they trolled me. Like, I, I'm just wondering. I mean, because I'm just trying to figure out, am I that important that you got to go and you got to make a fake page and you got to, uh, uh, you know, go through these other limbs to to discuss or talk about me? I, I, you know, like, you a stalker. You crazy. But anyway, so that's where I am with it. Um, I don't, uh, I don't, no, no one owns me. I'm free thinking. I'm free thinking. No one owns me. And I am not just going to quickly, uh, jump on the bandwagon of somebody that has something negative to say, um, after they have been cut off. Um, and so that, you know, that's just the way that I approach it. I, I approach it. I am not one of these lame uh, uh, not well read, not well educated. Uh, okay, so it says that the same person who stole, what did they steal? What did what what did they what did they steal? And and let me ask you this: what's it? What's the name? B. Let me ask you this: Were you on his bandwagon? Did you follow him? Did you enjoy his content? Because we've been saying stuff about him. Um, uh, pop oh, oh, my banner. What's up?
what's going on here. Uh, we have been we have been saying and discussing this stuff for a while. This ain't nothing new. Shut your ass up. This is not this is not anything new. We've been talking about impossibly being gay. We've been talking about impossibly having relationships. We've been talking about that uh, that he um, might have extorted. This ain't nothing new. And ain't nobody jumping on his bandwagon and ain't nobody kissing his butt and ain't nobody kissing uh, uh, Benson's behind. I'm looking at it from a journalistic standpoint. There's two sides to each story. There's two sides. There's that person's side, uh, the other person's side, and the truth. And, I, and I'm looking at this and examining it, examining it the same way when all these women want to wait all these years and come out on Cosby or the same way our, our sale and all these people. Then now you cut off payments to, to the parents and then all of a sudden you want to go back and now, oh, you want to have a come to Jesus and you want to get you want to get on your pale white horse and, and be so righteous when you was a trifling hoe that was benefiting from the trips, from the money, from all of that. Don't tell me to calm down. Don't come on my live and say that, that, that I'm defending someone. No. What I said was I talked to him. He explained to me in a very uh, transparent, honest way. Yes, th some of these things is true. But this in lies the reason, reason that I feel that this is happening at this point. You talking about somebody that was going with somebody for 13 years and both of them was running around lying and saying that they wasn't gay. I've been told, I've been asked them whether or not they was in a relationship way back when they was in North Carolina calling into my, uh, my radio show. And just as Vincent feels like he, and, and, and I'm gonna say this for all of you uh, gay folks, just cause you feel like you ready to come out, that don't mean that you have, that don't give you the right to out the other people that you've been with. That's not true. He did not steal my radio show. That is not, that is not, that is in no way, that is in no way true. Dion Evans owed me money. He owed me money and I stopped, I stopped doing the show. He owed me upwards of $5,000. And so I stopped doing the show. He didn't steal anything. I told them, I said, the money is going up each time and increasing and the debt is, is, is increasing. So let's stop. He never got the, the radio station back on track. He didn't steal anything. That's not, that's not true. Now that may be in a lie or a narrative that might've been put out by Vincent or somebody else, but that's not, that's not the case. No. Dion, Dion was my show was the had the greatest numbers and uh, uh, the, the, the highest number of commercials and things of that sort. Dion got behind on the rent. He got behind on a whole lot of a uh, whole lot of things. He had given up his church to do the station and the money wasn't rolling. He was borrowing from Peter to pay Paul, taking money from running the station properly to, you know, taking care of his household. So don't come on here. Are you going to send a cash app? Are you going to buy some stars? Don't come on here with no foolishness. That's not true. If it was true, I would be the first to tell you. Now, if you want to know what the truth is, did I feel some type of way about them uh, uh, feeling my slot when I refused to continue the show with them? Yes, I did. But I couldn't totally fault uh, Dion because that's just business. All right, y'all. Um, uh oh, what did I do? Okay, so I was trying to see how long I've been on. Um, so I, you know, I'm dealing with it. I'm looking into it. I'm, I'm going to be. I think I'm going to be fair. I'm going to be diplomatic. Uh, I want to. I, I, if anybody knows how to reach Vincent Terrell Hill, let me know. I would like to. Uh, I would like to speak to him. Get his side of the story. Is this motive? Is 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 this money motivated? What what is what is the motive? You know, why do you participate for, for 13 years in a relationship and then all of a sudden you get mad and you want to come forward and you want to uh, expose things? And then not only did that do, that you want to expose stuff, but then you want to also you also want to drag other people 
I, three of those guys I've known of, you know, and but I did not, they did not want, or they were not comfortable at the time to be, to be out there. Do you want, do you want your business and your sexual experience and your naked pictures that you was taking for your boyfriend or your girlfriend? Do you really want that out there? And if, and, and then if it gets out there, are you really that just, oh, but well, that's me. Oh, uh, you know, I, I, I mean, at some point, yeah, you probably will feel that way because it ain't nothing else you can do about it. But come on, let's just be honest. Let's be real. Let's just let's 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 talk about it and walk through it. You know, now if if, if certain things are discovered and, 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 and some of them are to be true and, and if somebody was underage at the time and they was they was groomed and they were uh, um, uh, uh, molested, then we don't deal with that. And Larry's going to have to face that and he's going to have to come to terms with it and deal with it within within any kind of way that he's he's going to have to. But all of these allegations of giving people HIV and having sex with this one and having said, OK, so now Vincent has substantiated some of the men that he has had sex with. He has a has a thing with the guy from uh, from Kentucky stripping down at the at the hotel room. They have traveled. They have taken trips. OK, so those things are substantiated. But those was grown men making decisions to be in 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 um, uh, a polyamory type of uh, relationship. And, and group sex or whatever kind of sex or whatever uh, that they were doing. <laughs> um, let me say this. Let me say this um, uh, in regard to this vicious and horrible lie that I left feces or some kind of thing in a hotel room. I Do I look like I'm nasty? Do I look like I'm unkept? Let me tell y'all what happened. And I don't care about what Earl Carter says. Earl Carter has had a complete total nervous breakdown and he's totally and completely ejected. The late, the late elder Henry Shields, who was shot on the basketball court in Memphis, Tennessee at the age of 13 that left him paralyzed was on two colostomy bags. Henry, Henry, while we were at church, had some type of accident that resulted in the room that we had to come out of that room and go into another room. Anybody that is in the Church of God in Christ knows Henry Shields, knows that he was in a wheelchair and knows that he was on colostomy bags. He did as a handicapped person the best he could to clean that room up and was not able to. So no, I have never and never have and never will. Now, if you don't like me and you choose to believe any kind of nasty and vow uh, a thing, then you are more than welcome to. But that is absolutely uh, not true. Why would I clean up his doo-doo? Would you have cleaned it up, Paul? No. I said, put us in another room. So sick of these so sick of these ignorant lies and, 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 and if that was true she produced the man that was screwing me since I'm such a whore and I and, 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 and what have you and, and, and you think you think the way that I dress and the way that I look that I wouldn't know how to douche and clean myself out please you are stupid you're dumb and stupid and that's why you won't hear with a uh, with a with a fake uh, name, and because you are troll. You why? You mad? You mad because you can't be me? You mad because you can't do it like I do? I don't even know who James is. So anyway, you all, excuse me for that. Um, some of these people that just you know they they I, I try I try not to. Uh, 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 address it or deal with them and then some of them you just have to you 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 know you just have to uh you have to just stop and you, you know just walk walk it out with them and just uh and, and and just deal with it so anyway i don't i have no idea what you're talking about james the manager that put you that that, that puts you out and then you want to use a variation of my name <laughs> anyway so that's where we are with this. 
Um, I would love for y'all to uh, do uh, do your uh, cash app donations and, and stars. Um, this must not have been such a a topic that y'all was found very interesting because most of you are um, are not giving the way that you normally do. Um, do, it, do I have? I want to open up the floor if anybody wants to come on. Anyone has any comment or question that they want to come on uh, and join the live and ask? You're more than welcome. You can send me a. Um, a invite and we can deal with it. Yes, I'm I, I still yeah uh, uh, walking through uh, through this and um, want to approach it with uh, a, a level of journalistic integrity. Um, want to uh, talk probably will talk more to Larry and get more um, uh, information um, th from his side. And I definitely want to talk to Vincent Terrell Hill in regard to why did we wait until this length of time? Why haven't we said something sooner? Um, uh, what all just what all was going on? Um, if y'all was in a church and worship environment and people were having arranged marriages and doing, wh why why you don't why you didn't speak up? Why you didn't say something? So all of I have all of those questions, um, and certainly, uh, certainly wonder. And then after we examine all of that, then I can formulate my my opinion. But in one video, in just one, you know, uh, 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 thing, are you just going to take? And yeah, it's been some bad blood. Yeah, it's been some. It, it, it's been some bad blood. But just because it's been bad blood, does that mean that you carry a vendetta? Does that mean that you 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 don't do things integral? I'm just asking. I'm just asking. All right. B, uh, B has joined Medina Watson, Lewis uh, Bannerman, uh, Harlan Dior. All right, y'all. Uh, where's my stars at? Is somebody going to give me some stars? Is somebody, Patrick Parker, is somebody going to give me some stars? What's going on here? I ain't got no stars and I ain't got no cash apps on this whole hour long live. Come on with it. Come on. Greetings. Greetings, Miss Watson. How are you? Y'all gonna y'all gonna show me some love and show me some support. Lisa Miller, greetings to you. Thank you for coming on. I want y'all to like and share share the live. Tell the folks that I'm on. Tell the people that we're that we're talking about this. That we that we're dealing with it. Antoine Calloway. All right, all right, all right. Thank you, thank you, thank you. All right, Christiana Cooper. All right, Mona Scott. Come on now. This is what I'm talking about. This is what I'm talking about. I just show me love is what it does. Chris Gar uh, Gray, thank you for joining the live. We are examining and discussing this information that's been put out on Larry Reed by Vincent Terrell Hill, and just what was the motivation? What is the reason that he's doing that? He's doing that, and then the number of people he didn't just talk about uh, 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 Larry, but he drug a lot of names and a lot of people that you know is somewhat innocent. And to substantiate it, is that fair? Is that fair? Did he have to put um, the, the 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 pastor from uh, Louisville, Kentucky, out there, or did you put him out there because you mad because he with Larry and you not anymore? I mean, you know what what is uh, uh, um, what is what is the the you know the reasoning? Come on, let's just let's just be let's 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 and the Bible says in business, let's be men. In business, let's be men. In business, let's be integral. Thank oh thank you for my thousand stars. Thank you so so much. Love and appreciate you. So that you know, let's let, let, let's examine this thing. Let's 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 be let's be fair. Don't just kill the man because all of a sudden you decide that you're going to take one side of the uh, of the story. I, I, you know, come on. Let's just be honest. Okay, so they grown. They grown. They travel. They have they was having sex. All right. Vincent, you 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 what a coincidence. You get your last check. You get your last check. He says I'm done. I'm through. I'm you know, this has ended. I have fulfilled my 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 uh, monetary obligation, and we good, but we not because now you are mad. You are mad. You are upset. Thank you, Mona Scott, and Bra. And what do you think about this? And is a fellow uh, uh, blogger. Um, what? How? And I want you. Do you want to come on? How do you feel? Are people just jumping to some level of conclusion 
because I have not found or discovered anything that was criminal done. I, I, I have not, no one has substantiated that. Now, I'm not saying that that may not be the case, but I'm saying that I have not, I have not seen that substantiated. No, what I've heard is various guys that was, uh, uh, you know, involved with their pastor or involved with their leader. Missy, that's not my name. Don't ever call me um, that. My name is Sir William. Um, that's And that's it. Okay, so we got to get her off of here because she's on my live soliciting. So that's, uh, you're not from Oakland? Don't call, don't call, do not. No, 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 no. Don't play no games with me. Don't play no games with me. Y'all coming on here. Y'all coming on here with these fake pages and y'all playing games. And I'm not, I'm not the one for it. I, I'm not the one for it. No. I, I, I made a mistake when I said that I I don't care if you're having a cruise. I don't care what you're having. I'm not having a cruise. This is my life. You do your own life, ho, and ask for money for your stupid ass cruise. Don't come over here asking and soliciting nothing for no cruise that you have. I hope you're drowned. Hope you hope the ship sank like the Titanic. You having a cruise? All right. See, I, I said I said that I wanted to be on my best behavior, and y'all just won't let me. All right, y'all. So anyway, we have been um, we have been. I, I think I didn't put a hole in this cup, slamming it. Um, we have been discussing this situation. Um, yes, that'll go under like a Titanic, baby. Uh, we, you know, we have been discussing this, and <laughs> <laughs> Tiffany, you ought to stop. Yeah, I mean, come on. I don't, you know, y'all know I don't play games. I just, yeah, I, I, I have zero to no tolerance. So anyway, I, I want to thank everyone that has come on. Um, thank y'all for my uh, 1,600 uh, stars. Y'all need to go in and uh, uh, somebody need to go in and give me another 400 so I can have uh, even 2,000 stars before I get off of here. Also, Mazel and um, um, uh, Mazel and my cash app is up. I, you know what? Um, Fanny was held on that stand today. However, it is still embarrassing that she made the decisions that she made that contributed to her having to um, explain uh, and discuss private, intimate moments. Now, I don't think that they have enough evidence to take her off of, you know, totally take her off of the case. I, I don't see that. Um, but... I, I I think it's going to, um, you know, very much affect her political career. Uh, but she was handling. I mean, she, she she's the DA. So it was, I mean, they were in a precarious position. You know, you still got to call her Madam DA. You still got to come with some level of um, respect that, that that office and that seat and that position demands. Um, but I just, I do not... I do not see them having enough to get her off the case and certainly not enough to, you know, cause her to have to step down as DA. I don't, I don't see it. I don't see it. Now the Republicans enjoying this and dragging her, it being embarrassing, um, having to discuss money, um, uh, payments made to him, her making payments via cash app, her making, um, uh, you know, carrying cash on her uh, and different things of that sort. Embarrassing. Yes. Going into, you know, private, intimate moments of, of, of my life. Yeah, yes. Um, uh, um, that was, are you talking about the one that testified via Zoom that was a former friend and employee? Is that who you're talking about? Because I, some of them I might have, uh, um, I may have missed her. I didn't get all of Wade's, um, I didn't get all of Wade's testimony because I was also in the courtroom for YSL. Hey, Mike Rush, what's going on? That's one of my friends and my, one of my deacons and good supporters. How are you? 
yeah, she, um, you know, when those investigators start coming and, and you know, saying stuff, um, you know, you, go, you, you have friends that are, that are turn on you. You have friends that are jump on. That, that are, hey, Mike Rush, thank you for my 100 stars, bro. I appreciate y'all. Y'all, I need another 100 stars so I can have 2,000 stars on this live. Come with it. Come with it. I, um, I you know, I am going back um, in the fall to law school. I'm nervous and excited. Um, I love the law. I love how, you know, all of this works. And I just do not see them having a solid enough case. Um, these cases are are just not solid. Um, is it um, was it a lack of judgment? Um, was it you know in poor taste? Um, you know th those things, yes. But to have to pull her off, I mean, people cross lines at work. People go, we, we're talking about Larry Reed. People cross lines at work. People cross lines at church. People, yeah, you, you know that we meet, we have sex, we hook up, um, we, we we have a a lack of uh, of judgment, especially when your feelings and your emotions start getting involved. Yeah, you, you know, you 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 not necessarily thinking, you know, about the situation with a clear and level head as you should be, um, and and so it happened. She was a single woman and free to date whoever she wanted. He was going through a tumultuous marriage. He was not, I don't even think at, at that point that he and his um, ex-wife or, or soon to be ex-wife was even still cohabitating. So um, all of that has to be looked at and examined. Um, she was not with him for his money. They had, she admitted that they had difficult con uh, uh, conversations about his being a man. She wanted him for friendship and companionship, not to be taken care of or for him to be spending any kind of money on uh on her and i think that she you know kind of took it you know to the next level where she was making sure that she paid for everything because she certainly didn't want that to be said so anyway who's gonna give me a, 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 a hundred stars before we get off i want to thank everybody for uh coming on we're going to be dealing with this whole uh tammy sabrina charmaine Y'all get some of y'all give me some stars, Chris, Christina. Um, we're going to be dealing with this for a little while. I don't foresee, I don't foresee this situation uh, going away quickly. I think that uh, all right, I reached my two thousand uh, goal. I know. Um, I, I Vincent said that he was going to uh, put out some more videos. Pamela Davis, thank you. Woo! Thank you so much. Um, he was going to put out some more videos. He said that he was going to um, select um, a. <laughs> I thought that I thought that was a little bit interesting. He said in the closing part of or toward the closing of his video that he was going to um, select someone that was uh, uh, an influencer that had integrity. Ah, oh, thank you for my four hundred eighty nine stars. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. He said that he was going to select someone that was integral. So that's interesting. A person that doesn't have integrity wants to deal with or interview with someone that they feel that does have integrity. I would love for him to interview with me. I want to just have a conversation. I don't want to attack, but I do want to ask questions. I would love to uh, sit with Larry. What were you thinking? You know, uh, uh, what came what came over you? What came over you to participate and do these kind of things? What came over you to, you know, uh, possibly not make the, the 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 best decision? That's the same thing with with Fanny. What you know? Are we thinking that much with our emotions? Are we thinking that much with you know uh, how how we're feeling uh, sexually? I mean. You know, just just what were what, what were the people thinking that got them to do stuff against their better judgment? And I think that that's a I, I think that those are some fair questions. What do y'all say? Marcus Jackson, thank you for coming in. Calvin uh, Meesom, thank you for coming in. Tawana Lee Joseph, thank you for coming in. Um, uh, how how does it cross over or interact with Jordan and Manasseh? Um, uh, how is this going to, you know, play out with other friendships, relationships? Um, it, it, you know, it's going to be a lot. It's going to.
uh, Kendall Crowder, thank you for coming in. Robert Washington, thank you for coming in. Uh, it's, it's a lot to deal with. It's a it's a it's certainly a lot to decipher and deal with. And but you know, at the end of the day, we're human beings, and and sometimes we have a lack of judgment. How many of y'all in the room have had a bad uh, or lack? Marie Horn, thank you. Greetings to you. How many of you have had a lack of of good judgment? Okay, now now you make a good point. You make a good point. She says, oh, I don't know where that comment went. She says um, that she wants to uh, ask him or, you know, find out how does it feel now that the rabbit has the the, the, the gun. Um, uh, and that's a good point because um, she says, just want to tell Larry, ain't no fun when the rabbit got the gun because he has ran several people down in the ground about, okay, now that's a fair question. That's a fair question. He has done stories. They, they, the, the uh, uh, Vincent named him. He's he he did the story on E. Dewey. He did the story on James Hall. He did the story on um, on Keon. He did the story on um, uh, Matthew Stevenson. So he has done. Yes, he has done stories, and he was critical. Okay, y'all. I need four hundred more stars so I can have an even three thousand stars. Um, so he has done some critical. He has done some critical stories and, you know, so yes, that's a legit question. How, how do you feel about these, you know, this type of behavior? Thank you, Pamela Davis. I need three more, 300 more stars to have a even 3000 and then I can get off of here and we can go to bed. Leon Andre Williams, greetings to you. Yeah. So that's a fair question. That's a fair question. You're questioning other people's sexuality, you're questioning other people's um, lack of good judgment. Um, they've had sex with this one, they've had sex with, 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 with that one. And behind the scenes, Marie Horn, thank you for the 100 stars. And behind the scenes, you're doing the same thing. Okay, I, I'm 200 stars uh, uh, from my 3,000 goal. Come on, come on. I just need two people or one person to give 200 or one per or, or two people to um, give a um, uh, uh, 100 apiece, four people at 50. Come on. So that's a fair question. And those are the questions and those are the kind of things that, you know, we, we're going to have to address with them. You know, how did you, how, how do you feel about that? You know, how do you, how do you feel having you know, held uh, different individuals to a high standard, a high regard, and um, you may or may not have, you know, been participating or being as, you know, operating with the integrity that you should have. Thank you, Leon Andre Williams. Thank you so much for my 50 stars. Thank you, um, Crescenda, Crescenda LaFay Cooper. She's from the Bay Area. Thank you for my 200 stars. Love and appreciate you. Um, uh, Aaron Smith, thanks for coming in. So, thank you, thank you, Sandra. Uh, yes, Woo. I don't know how I'm gonna take it going back, um, um, going back to uh, law school. Oh my god, and having to read and having to study, and uh, you know, ah, it's gonna be a lot, but we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna do it. Okay, T uh, Tanya says she can't stand hypocrites. Mm. You know, a lot of times though. Uh, when you're doing something hypocritical, you're not necessarily aware, as aware of it um, uh, at the time. You're doing something and you're not, sometimes you're not really conscious of, um, thank you, Sandra Reed. You're not really conscious that, oh, I'm being a hypocrite. I, I, I think we get caught up in the moment. All right, y'all. It is 12 25. It is time to go to bed. I it, it has been a day. I am I am tired. Um uh I am um um you know it, it, it has it has certainly um it has certainly been a day and um you know we we um uh, we um it, you know, we tired. It, it, it has, uh, you know, and it's the same thing with me. If I, if I, if I'm caught up, and if I do something, and uh, uh, you know, then I definitely 
you know, you um, you all are going to have the right to discuss it. You're going to have the right to uh, to get you know discuss it, deal with it, talk about it. And um, but I don't know if we're really conscious or really thinking about that we're doing something hypocritical while we're doing it. That that that's a that's a um, a a good point and a good question. So I don't I don't think that we are necessarily as conscious of that we're doing something um, hypocritical while we're doing it. So so um, that's that's just you know that's just one of the places where we are. All right, y'all. I want to thank y'all for uh, tuning in. Thank y'all for my three thousand stars. Thank you for the discussion. We'll be coming back. We're going to be covering this and dealing with this. Um, uh, ah. Uh, we're going to be dealing and covering this for a good little while. I don't think it's, um, I don't think it's going to be going anywhere anytime soon. Um, so I, I, I think we're going to, I think we're going to uh, be dealing with it. Um, and we're going to have to, uh, we're going to have to address it and we're going to have to you know, discuss it and talk about it. And, um, you know, just kind of, just kind of walk through with the with the whole situation until it comes to some type of closure, some type of resolve. All right, y'all, I want to thank y'all for coming on. Like, share. Uh, you can always send a cash app later on or uh, your donation. You can also purchase stars um, on the replay as well. All right, until tomorrow, I appreciate y'all. All right, that was William McCray. Honey, he said he is going to be a uh, an attorney, okay? or a lawyer so i guess he's going to be going to law school so what are y'all what are your thoughts on william mccray reacts to larry reed live and vincent terrell is the rough disrupted truth do you believe vincent do you believe larry reed the word on the street is that Tasha K is gathering up all her interviewing skills and about to come out here and hand um, Larry Reed um, his uh, ass on a platter. That's word on the street. Y'all keep watching so we can follow this story together over here on the House of Reloaded. I'm going to do another um, reaction to the Q and A. So we're going to be going live again over here at the House Reloaded. Make sure that you click that link. Please like, share, and subscribe. And thank you to Just Jess and PMS. Please don't be a stranger. Nicole Reloaded don't bite unless you want me to, baby. Okay. We can have some fun. Let's have some conversations over here because this is a hot, stinking mess. Okay. I think that's how just Kimmy said. It's just a hot stinking air mess. Okay. I love y'all. Remember through God, all things are possible to those who believe as long as you're willing to receive what God has for you. Let me load up this next live and we're going to get into some more things on this salacious Sunday. Get all the way into it. Okay. Bro, 
broke. Mm-hmm. Too, too good. Real boss beat. Nip got the hood. Real boss beat. Nip got the hood. He ain't never leave this pretty, pretty. Don't go. Nip got the hood. Nip got the hood. And I waited for you, but you never showed. Girl, where you at? Ooh, where you at?